Alrighty, we got the Jordan 1 AJKO Low Unions dropping Thursday, February 2nd on UnionLosAngeles.com, followed by a sneakers release coming Saturday, February 4th. We're getting two different types of pairs. We're getting a sale and a white retailing at 150 bucks these aren't looking that bad these will probably end up bricking but the sales are definitely something to look forward to i'm going to be covering tasks set up for the union store release on wrath you'll be able to use this same setup with pretty much any shopify bot and if you guys do need help with your bot setups or you're looking to take your reselling games to the next level i do own a cook group we offer real one-on-one -on -one support meaning no matter the skill level, you'll be able to sit and talk with me and we'll get you cooking in no time. We also have all the resources that you would need to cop multiple pairs, including monitors, full release channels for upcoming sneaker releases, early links, and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's open Wrath. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is always make sure that your bot is up to date. This number needs to match this number, and if it doesn't, you can just press this and it will automatically download the update for you. Next step, always important before every single release, if you are running automations, make sure you turn them off. The last thing that you want is tasks to start generating when uh, you're in the middle of a union release. Um, that is CAPTCHA hell, so don't do that. Speaking of CAPTCHA, you're gonna need to sign in to a couple Gmails in the Harvester tab. To sign in, simply click on the little YouTube button. It's best to use personal and older Gmails for this. However, if it's HCAPTCHA, then it won't really matter as much. Just make sure that you sign in to at least two or three of them. And you wanna make sure that it's on, the, the site is Shopify, and the solver type is checkpoint and checkout. Once you have your harvester sign in, you're gonna to wanna to hit these little blue buttons to open up the windows. Now what I like to do is I like to neatly and organize them, kind of smash them all together like this. This makes jumping in between them much easier and it makes my CAPTCHA solving a lot quicker. Once you've got your harvesters all situated, now it's time to make some tasks. Now we don't know what style of release Union is planning on dropping these, but once you've ran Shopify uh, long enough, then you get to know all the little tricks that uh, Shopify likes to pull in order to stop with spotters. Um, you can always play it safe and run both methods I'm about to explain, just in case. You can just simply have two different task groups so uh, you're ready for whatever happens. The first uh, possible release method is going to be just your classic uh, password page release. In short, Union's going to throw up a password page preventing anyone from entering the site. They'll throw this up typically within the hour of the release. Um, there's little change in the setup compared to a regular release, but it is a little different. So when you're making your tasks, you need to make sure that you're sourcing your keywords from a trusted place. We don't have our release channel up yet because we're still a few days out. So don't use my keywords for the actual release on the second. Okay, for the site selection, you're gonna wanna select Union Los Angeles. For keywords, again, I'm just using these as an example. You're gonna wanna select your profiles. For size, don't ever choose random. Always use an individual size per task or use a size range. For proxies, I definitely would have at least two tasks on so no proxies. And for this type of release, I'm gonna recommend either really strong ISPs or um, resis as I'm sure proxy protection will be up for this release. So once you got all that squared away, you want to head over to the advanced tab. For a password page type release, you're always going to want to use human rather than the experimental preload. If you're newish to Shopify, then I wouldn't recommend running more than about 10 tasks and make sure that you have two on local. Once you have your tasks populated, you're gonna wanna hit this little cogwheel at the top and this is how you're gonna configure your delay. To be honest, you could probably just leave it as it is for this type of release, but I like to run two, 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 two. This kind of release, you don't need to change the delays at all. The delays can remain the same. Since that password page is up preventing anybody from entering the site, there's not gonna be like a, a queue that you're gonna have to hop into because again, nobody can enter the site. So if the drop is gonna be at 11 a.m. Eastern, you're gonna wanna start your tasks 15 seconds before the release. If your keywords are right, then your task should pick up the product and begin the checkout process. 
if for whatever reason your tasks do not pick up the product due to your keywords being wrong, don't fret. Just simply jump into your Cook Group's Shopify filtered and copy the link and just mass link chain. Shopify is all about speed, so make sure you're really quick doing it if this happens to you. Okay, that's gonna be the setup for your typical password page release. If you're using this method explained, it should increase your chances of copying. The next method is the more likely method of release that Union will do. So make sure you pay attention and this is a domain change release. So let me explain a domain change release. This is a release method where the site will put up a password page just like a password page release. But the only difference is, is right when uh, the release time happens and the site opens up, there will typically be an image of the shoe on the home page. And when you click on that image, it's actually gonna redirect you to a completely different site and this is the link that you're gonna to have to input into your bot. This same method was used for the concept lobster dunks, and this is pretty much the go-to method for Shopify special edition. This method actually gives the manual user the best shot of copying, um, in my personal opinion, for Shopify. So definitely make sure that you go manual at the same time as running your bot. Okay, this is what your task setup is gonna look like for a domain change for lease. For site selection, you're going to want to select domain change. For product URL, it doesn't matter what you put for keywords. You can make them up. You can literally just smash the keyboard. Um, I'll explain later why it doesn't matter. Um, then you want to select your profiles, size. Again, you can put random. It doesn't matter what you put here, and it will all become clear in a little bit when I explain the actual release process. Um, for proxies, you're going to want to do the same thing that you did last time. Do two tasks on no proxies and uh, do the rest on some strong ISPs or residentials. There's not anything that you're going to need to do in the advanced tab because there's only one mode to choose from and that's superhuman. Okay, and this is how the release is going to go. So the release is going to be at 11 a.m. Eastern. There's going to be a password page up. What you're going to want to do is be refreshing constantly as the seconds tick down to 11 o'clock, waiting for that password page to drop. As soon as it drops, you're going to see that image of the shoe uh, here. You're going to want to click on it. And at any point in the new domain change that we were talking about, you can grab any part of that new link and you're going to want to do a mass link change on all of your tasks. Ideally, you want to do this on the uh, product page where you can add to cart. All right, I'm going to use this jacket as an example. So ideally, what you would do is you're on the new domain change. You're on the product page. The shoe is right here. You're going to copy and paste the link and you're going to hit save and start. As soon as you do this, a uh, browser is going to pop up where you actually need to select the size that you want and add to cart. And once you do that, whatever size you selected, the rest of your tasks are gonna follow suit. Again, most likely um, there's gonna be some restocks like immediately after the release. So definitely make sure that you keep these tasks running for um, a good bit of time. Two more things I just wanna mention real quickly. Delays, you can actually keep your delays at default. You don't really need to mess with them uh, and you don't need to change them. You can just keep them at 3,000, 3,000. One last thing to mention is there most likely will be CAPTCHA implemented. So make sure that you are signed into your CAPTCHA harvesters and you have the harvesters open. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. If I was able to drop some beneficial and some useful info, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. Until next time guys, happy cooking.